what a glorious day. Apple day, Apple phone launch day, iPhone launch day. I can't even talk, I'm just so, so excited. I had to stop by two different stores to get everything I wanted. I went to the Apple store and I went to the Hermes store. I don't even know which one I like better. Hermes is a luxury brand, but obviously Apple is the luxury brand. Yo, what the hell is this overpriced piece of junk? What iPhone launch day, of course, iPhone 10s Max, here it is. I don't even know why anybody would want this phone. Why would you want this? Look at this. There's a notch on the phone and they're hiding the notch with the wallpaper. I got the iPhone 10s Max. Of course, I had to get that hot new gold color, the new hotness. I also got, have to match the gold Apple Watch Series 4, 44 millimeter. And just to be thorough, boom, two watch bands. I can't wait to open all this stuff up. They still got people buying watch bands at $50 a pop for some cloth and some rubber. What? Only Apple, only Apple could convince people to pay. For, this is $100 right here. This is, would you rather have a crisp $100 bill or would you rather have two pieces of nylon that go around your wrist? But that's not all. Like I said, I also stopped by the Hermes store. Now, why did I go there? In case you didn't know, Hermes sells their own version of the Apple Watch. Let me pull this out right here. And look at the box. Look at the box that they put this in. Orange, you know orange is my jam, but look at that. They tie it with a brown bow. The brown bow specifically says Apple Watch Hermes on it. And they even give you a separate, nicely wrapped box for the band that you choose. Obviously, Apple would work with these guys because it's customer service to the max. Oh, the Hermes Apple Watch. Check this out. You probably don't know this. This right here in this box is the Apple Watch and the orange Hermes Sport Band. But you're not allowed to buy just this. Nope, you have to. They won't sell this to you unless you also buy an Hermes watch band, a separate watch band. Again, there is a watch band included in the box with the Hermes Apple Watch, which by the way, is just an Apple Watch with a couple of extra watch faces. And these bands are like $300. I asked you if you wanted a crisp $100 bill or these two pieces of nylon, this one is 300 bucks. Man, I cannot wait to dig into all this stuff. But of course, this is the iPhone unboxing video. So let's go ahead and put these watches delicately, oh so delicately, to the side so we can concentrate and focus on this right here. This is the star of the show, the iPhone. All right, let's push all this crap out of the way so we can focus on this piece of crap right here. All right, let's open this up. And one thing I gotta say, I mean, Apple takes care of all the little details. Look at this right here, there's a tab. You hear that? Let me hold it up to the mic. That is the sound of new iPhone day, but it's also the sound of ease of opening a package. Look at that. Look at that. I pulled it with, I didn't even have to use all my might. It just parted like the Red Sea. Amazing Apple and appropriate. All right, let's dig into this box right here and see what's in here. We already know what's in here, by the way. This phone has been leaking for months. We know what's in here. We know what is in here and we know what also is not in here. Of course, Apple always looking to rip you off. Here's the paperwork and of course, I love these so much. These are free whenever you buy an iPhone. Apple stickers, you can put these on your car, you can put these on your computer, you can put them on your desktop, you can put them on your iPhone, you can put them on your iPad. I like to stick these on the headboard of my bed. You know what, look at these guys, they're so arrogant. This is what they give you for an instruction booklet, a smartphone that can do so much stuff. Look at this, look at this. This is, a, this is supposed to teach you how to use a new phone. This is ridiculous. And this is the SIM removal tool because now Apple sells on day one unlocked phones. They have never done this before with the exception of the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. Day one unlocked phones, no need to buy something that's locked to a carrier. So if you have a SIM card, just use this pop out the SIM card from your old phone, put it into your new phone, and you'll save yourself an activation fee. Here it is, iPhone 10s Max, gold color, because of course Apple has to find some way to let you show everybody else in the world that you can afford the latest iPhone. And the way they do that this year is by adding a third color. So if you see anybody with the gold, you know that they think they're better than you. Look 
at this gold phone. This looks so good. Mm. Oh my God, this is the smell of new iPhone day. I know you guys can feel me on that. All right, this is the best part. This is a privilege of any smartphone unboxing. It's removing the plastic from the device. Let's go. I'm gonna hold this up to the mic so you guys can hear it. Oh my God, this... Can you hear that? Get this out of the plastic. Oh man. Wow. You know, Apple almost had me. That did feel good and sound good. All right, that's the 10s Max. We're gonna put that to the side just for a moment. Just shh, shh, be quiet, baby. All right, now let's look at what else is in the box. Here is a pair of ear pods with the lightning connector. So these are basically lightning headphones that are included in the box with a microphone. And I must say, I appreciate Apple throwing in headphones in the box because a lot of Android makers have stopped doing that. The only ones that seem to do it are the ones that still keep the headphone jack, but we obviously know the headphone jack is irrelevant in this day and age, and Android phones that have a USB-C port typically don't ship with USB-C headphones. So kudos to Apple on this. And here we go. This is where Apple starts cheaping out on you. You got, if, if you are not mad about this, then you're a sheep because Unlike last year, here you have the ear pods, terrible pair of headphones anyway, but on the back, they had the lightning to 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter, the dongle. The dongle that you will plug into the phone so you could use any pair of headphones you want. No longer in the box. Now you have the privilege of paying $9 for that dongle if you don't have one already. All right, we also have the lightning connector cable itself. Use this to charge your phone, to sync your phone, etc. And we have the power brick, just a small one that plugs into the wall and allows you to plug in a USB cord like this one right here. And mistake number two by Apple, look at this thing. This is a five watt wall adapter. The phone accepts a fast charging signal and Apple doesn't even put the fast charger in the box. Look at the box. There's nothing else, no fast charger in there. There's no fast charger. There's no dongle. What are you? Hello, nothing in here. You guys are wasting your money on Apple stuff. And that is everything that's in the box. Again, we have the iPhone 10s Max 6.5 inch display. We've got the power adapter, the lightning cable, and the ear pods. Now the ear pods should be all you need unless you wanna go wireless and you can get yourself a pair of the amazing AirPods. Probably Apple and Tim Cook's best product since the death of Steve Jobs. Rest in peace. Guess what the first thing is that, of course, Apple has to put their logo on everything. Not only is it on the front of the phone, it's on the back of the phone as well. At least they're giving you something for all the money you just wasted on this phone. Oh man, look at that, the Apple logo. That's when you know things are getting lit. That is your first signal that you are the owner. Oh, look at that, hello. And if you didn't know, Apple celebrates inclusivity. We've got hola on there, Spanish, Hello, I don't know what language that is. I think it's German. Bonjour. <laughs> you gotta give Apple credit for being so inclusive with even the setup process of the 10s Max. Look at all these different languages. They know we're here in America and they're putting all these different languages right here on the front to make it seem like Apple is for everybody. You know who Apple's not for? People who aren't the super rich. It's way better on the Android side of things. And I'll tell you why. This is a 512 gigabyte phone, $1,450. I get way more than that on the Android side of things for my money. For example, this camera does not match up to the camera on my Pixel. The screen is 6.5 inches, good job Apple, but you know what? I've gotta give it to Samsung, 6.4 inches, but you got the curved sides and you have no notch. This screen is not as good as the screen on my Note 9. No fingerprint reader anywhere on here. I'd much rather use a fingerprint reader on my OnePlus 6 than I would using Face ID. In fact, I got way more for my money when I bought my Poco phone than what I'm getting here on the 10s max all right guys i'm gonna get this all set up you know i'm wrapped in that apple ecosystem i've got my icloud backup all i need to do is put in my credentials wait a little while and this phone will be a carbon copy of the previous best phone in the world my iphone 10. if you picked up an iphone 10s max drop a like on this video comment below and let me know what you think of your phone i already know what you're gonna say 
It is awesome. Hey, if you're not a sheep out there, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think is the best phone out there. Obviously, it's not gonna be this $1,450 device. But yeah, let me know all the Android phones you carry with you on a daily basis, because I know you have one for taking pictures, you have one for the best screen, you have the fast fingerprint reader, and of course you have the best budget Android device as well. All right, guys, I really do have to go set this thing up though. Go ahead and send me any questions you have about the device. I will be back soon with a full review and of course we also have the apple watches the hermes edition the regular edition that i'll be doing a video on as well don't forget we are giving away an iphone 10s and an iphone 10r i've teamed up with brian tong and erica griffin two great youtube personalities if you want to enter that giveaway i will leave a link down in the description below thank you so much for watching as always guys i appreciate your support i'm andrew Webers, and i'll catch you in the next video yo what the hell